Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Maddie and today we are going to learn how to draw dragons. I hope you are as excited about this video as I am, but before we dive in, let's go through a little dragon history. What is a dragon? A dragon is a legendary creature that appears in the folklore of many cultures around the world. In the West, dragons are described to be winged creatures capable of breathing fire, whilst in the East, they are depicted as serpentine figures with great intelligence. Since we cannot possibly find real-life references, I am going to draw inspiration from folklore and use references from nature to make my dragon feel realistic. So, I decided to combine elements from three different animals to create my illustration. A lizard, a seahorse and a bat. By taking a defining feature from each animal and combining them together, we are able to craft a whole new character that is unique, yet still immediately recognizable as a dragon. We are going to create each feature separately and then add them together at the end, sort of like how to build a dragon. So let's begin! I am going to start with the head of our dragon. First I draw a simple circle with the shape tool. Then with the node tool, I add a couple of points to the bottom left section of our shape and manipulate them away from the circle in order to create a snout and the nose. Don't forget to add the nostrils, two simple ovals will do. Even the most complex artworks start with basic shapes and you'll notice that we are going to do the same with our dragon. Now that we have the shape of the head, use the shape tool to add the right eye. From this circle, I use the node tool to transform the left and right points from rounded to angular. And with this trick, you now have a perfect almond shape. You can adjust the points to change the shape of the eye as you see fit. Add another circle in the middle to create the iris. And use a single straight vertical line for the pupil. looking like a reptile already. It's time to use the pen tool to add the other details to the head, like the ears and the crest. If you tap once on the screen, each point will look sharp and spiky, but if you tap, hold and drag, you can have more curved lines, like I did for the crest. In the end, I'm using the pen tool to draw the forked tongue as well, and with that the head of our dragon is done. Moving on to the body, we are going to start with a pear shape. Since my dragon is inspired by lizards and seahorses, I'll make sure that the neck and the tail have a nice long and curved shape. Quick tip to make the body of a dragon as elegant as possible. Try to bend the body to follow an invisible S shape. To highlight its belly, I'll just draw a secondary small layer on top and give it a different color.
To create the arms, we have to draw two elongated ovals joined at the elbow in an L pose. Unite the two shapes and then I add some claws to the paw with the pen tool. We follow similar steps to create the leg, with the difference that the upper part is bigger and rounder. Our dragon needs strong legs, ready to jump and take off. Once you've done both the right arm and the right leg, you can just copy and paste them to the left side, just make sure they are placed behind the body layer. If you were able to follow the tutorial so far, you are in for a treat. Wings are definitely the most difficult thing to draw, but I will tell you my secret to create nice spread wings with no effort. First, draw a curved line going inward, then another one going the opposite direction. Add two more lines going downwards, and then unify all three sections of the wing. Easy peasy lemon squeezy! Just like we did with the arms and legs, we can just duplicate the right wing, reflect it on the vertical axis and then position it on the left. Since dragons are fantasy creatures, there is no right or wrong way to draw them and the same goes with colors. You can use any color combination you like. In my case, I will make the dragon white and give it rainbow wings as a tribute to the Vectornator logo. You can add more details to the wings by adding more sections and using different colors. For the finishing touches, grab your brush tool and add some white strokes here and there to give the dragon that shiny look. And to make the background more fiery, let's add some flames with the bright pink gradient. Well done everyone, you have drawn your very first vector dragon. You can now play around with proportions and colors to create your own version of it. We'd love to see what your dragon looks like. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more tutorials like this, remember to like this video and to subscribe to the Vectornator channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!